Okay, good evening once again, ladies and gentlemen. I am still Captain Lust. This is MBTV. I'm the community manager at Tales Entertainment. I'm joined by, for his first time class on MBTV, it is Hello. Rene KB. How are you doing? I'm fine, and you? <laughs> yeah, I'm wonderful. Second stream of the night. First one was pretty one sided, and um, this one could be pretty one sided as well. What do you think? Legend versus Kruwa. Where yeah. are you swinging? I believe well in this one because they're really prepared. Um well I think is legend is not that uh, that much uh, good as they were used to be. Yeah. And I believe Koa will have the upper hand, especially if they are tactic on movements. He played some scrims against them in the last time. They got an interesting uh, tactic here, can you can you give us a hint? Yeah, um they will play uh, so in the case they will play like on the uh, scrims, so they will play with six cav. On six cav. This is what I've heard about. Yeah. Um, at Warband leaks, uh, a new Twitter account just popped up recently. I don't know who runs it, but I love it already. <laughs> and uh, mysterious stranger at Warband leaks says worst kept secret in WL3. A's new tactic. Six cav two archers. Expect lots of teams running this week, maybe even this evening. Uh, exclamation mark. I think it, perhaps it could be a cool one player, and per perhaps it, this could be uh, a little bit of a hint about what they are planning this evening. Oh, yeah. there. Let's see. What exciting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in any case. It would be very interesting how Legend will handle this cap spam. I mean, did, did, are Legend going to be aware of that this is going on? This uh, six cav tactic? Alright, I don't think so, no. You don't think they're in the loop? So this is like, this is tonight, which is getting its first airing. Well, I mean, let's see. Uh, Perhaps Coral won't go for it. Perhaps Legend will will deal with it without a problem. Who knows? Uh, tell us a little bit about this this six cap tactic then, because this is kind of the interesting talking point right. um, <laughs> of the team at the moment. I mean, is it is it hard to deal with then? Um, well, the thing is, they will play a bit defensive at the beginning, and they will have also two archers, one or one archer, one infantry. I'm not sure. Um, they will wait for the flex, and after that, they will try. They will go to flag. Uh, I'm not sure, <laughs> but they will play defensive at the beginning. So you think it's pretty brutal then? Is it? You think it's like effective? Um, well, yes. Um, we had some problems to handle with it, and that's why I'm a bit um, ex excited about the about the legend if they will able to handle this. And. Uh, uh, what, what is it about it that's hard to handle? Is it just the, the massive cab like on the flag? Are they dismounting and raising it or are they just like dominating it, uh, just charging around? Or what's, what exactly are they doing with it? Um, well, yeah, as you say, they will try to get some, as I, um, some archers on some open positions, for example. And they try to pick them off. Yeah, and they try to pick them off, sure. Mm. And, well, actually, they will try to try to get a good position for the archer and the archer will try to shoot at the calf and the calf of the Kurva they will definitely try to attack the calf of legend. Um, uh, okay. Because Nord's calf is really bad in my opinion for fighting against a calf strand like that. They just have javelins but they're not so useful in my opinion. Do you think the Kurva gonna do this on both sides or just as Vegas or, or one of the factions? Um I wasn't sure, but I believe they will do it on the world map, so they will do it on North and on Vegas. On, on both both factions? On I mean, both factions, yeah. Um, can you tell us any more specifically about how this played out when you played them? I mean, did they, when you suggest some problems, I mean, did they just whoop your ass with it, or did they get a couple rounds back and forth? Um, to be honest, I'm not sure, so... You're not sure yeah. you can play? Um, I'm not sure about their place I know. Maybe they will change it a bit, and mm. I didn't follow the uh, their plans so much. Um, yeah, so I'm very excited about that. You're just excited to see it, perhaps in action. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. So am I. Uh, we'll have to see exactly how it does work out. Uh, tweets coming in as well. Paulo one goal, uh, not unless it's a key player legend, uh, as uh, <laughs> Wolfpack Warfand is protesting that. Paulo is a perhaps could be a key player for Legend. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I just pick these players: uh, Dean, which is Toby, obviously, uh, Kaius and Garen. Um, I'm pretty big fans of, the, of theirs. Kaius, pretty sick archer. Yeah. But yeah, you know, 
perhaps, um, um, perhaps Pablo can take his claim. I believe everyone of Goba is a key player in my opinion. Um, yeah, you're Everyone right. as a cap, he's definitely good. I put, yes. put Sakiji Raiden and Sotomo, so I don't know, perhaps that's wrong. Like, yeah. Sotomo is more of like a, a leader, but he's still, obviously he's key for them, but yeah. maybe not as a player. But he's leading, as far as yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, but I'm not yeah. sure about the Legend players. Well, um, I put up, I put up um, Kais, Garam and, and John. I think they're, they're pretty safe bets to do fairly well. And relatively, at least. But we'll see what happens, who knows. Um, about Legend, do you think do you think they're gonna just? I mean, can they beat anyone in this season of the WNL? Do you think they're just gonna get crushed and, and have to fall well, out? I don't believe that Legend will win the season or even will get any play play in the playoffs. So I believe Legend will definitely lose this match. Don't I, think that, I don't think want. That, yeah. You think go they're ahead. gonna go straight down to Division um, Division B? Then? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. They're one well, of these. We'll have to see. And um, what is it about them this season that makes them just not able to cut it with the top clans? Do you think it's just the lack of Peter, or um, I believe it's pa uh, it's yeah, it's Peter who is missing. <laughs> and <laughs> I know some guys uh, tell some other guys that he that he shouldn't uh, overrate him, but well, actually he did a good work on the last W and L or on the ES ESS and. Without them, they have many problems, I believe. Yeah, I agree. And I think perhaps they're not as practiced as they were before as well. Like, Paolo, one goal Paolo is a hero. Put put the team together, but uh, I just don't think their their practice really... Um, I don't know. It's not it's not like it was, like, say, in the last WNL, where they were just like... They had like an insane streak. They had like a seven-win streak or something like that in the last WNL. Yeah. Uh, but unfortunately, it didn't work out. And uh, a couple of tweets coming in from um, Captain Paul here. It says Rene is so sweet. Oh, hashtag thanks. #WNL3. Oh. <laughs> Captain Quark. So you got you got admirers already. All right, I got my fanboy. So <laughs> yeah, it's a pleasure to have you here, uh, representing IG as well. You can tweet in at Rene. His Twitter is up on the stream. Yeah. IG Rene KB. Uh, so what about um, IG? Just talk to us a little bit about them. Uh, you played. Have you played Legend in a training match recently? Um, yeah, we played against Legend and we won against them very high. I'm not sure how high. The last one was 6 to 0, but I'm not, um, I'm not sure about the preferred matches. So pretty and one-sided stuff then, they're not looking too good at the moment. Yeah. Or maybe uh, they can surprise us tonight though, who knows? As far as I know, they have also some internet problems, but I don't want to risk my hand on fire, so... <laughs> <laughs> you want to speculate? Teams are just gathering up, getting themselves organized. Uh, we're not live yet. Putting themselves together. Yeah. Um, it's the second week of this WNL. The ongoing tournament. The biggest tournament we've ever had in Warband's history, which we're very excited about. Uh, second week here. Legend currently sitting bottom of the table as they took that hammering to A last week. 15-1. Uh, that was pretty brutal. Kurwa took out Inquisition, and uh, what are you thinking of Inquisition in uh, in the season of the WNL? Do you think they can um, do anything? I believe they have really good players, and they could be on the middle, or maybe they could also be one of the four playoff met, uh, playoff lands. So that's the big goal for the Division A teams, isn't it? is to make those playoffs, because yeah. all bets are off then. Uh, only four, like it's just a single elimination playoff, I think, isn't it? Just for those T-shirts. <laughs> that's pretty hype. Sure. Do you own a freaky t-shirt yet? Uh, red. I like that one, yeah. <laughs> but do, do you have an IG freaky t-shirt? No, no, I have not. You don't have one? Oh, I can't wait for mine. It's not it's not arrived yet. I think that was asked as a, on a, as a tweet earlier. It's not yeah. here yet, but uh, freaky gear have been very helpful. They uh, assisted me, and they're sending another t-shirt to replace the one which went missing in Turkish Customs. So if they both come, I have two, which will be even more exciting. But uh, I'm still waiting for that. When I, when I get it, though, I'm going to do doing a horse and sword immediately, I'm going to wear it and show it to everyone. Very proud. Yeah. Hey guys, wants... yeah, go do, ahead. <laughs> do, uh, do pick up, a they don't just sell Warband t-shirts as well, or IG t-shirts, they sell all sorts of stuff from Freaky. Uh, if you do pick up a t-shirt or you buy anything from them, make sure you tell them that it's because they're sponsoring the WNL or they're sponsoring IG or whatever. Tell them that that's the reason you're buying it so that they know that their sponsorship has been of value and they can stay invested in the scene. That's really important, I think. 
you've got to let them know that um, what they're doing here means something to you. It makes a difference. Yep, they're, they do really a good work, so... Exactly. It's lovely to have them with us. And we're very happy to put their little name up and logo on the stream as well. And I think we're going to be going uh, live pretty soon. With the first set here. Bora seems to be ready. Yeah, I think Legend are ready as well. Vision 18, good organisation. And we've got Drew on here with the referee as well. So thanks to him for dedicating his time and efforts to uh, getting this running smoothly. I believe he will also be the referee on the next match. I'm not sure Trutz here against someone else. <laughs> Who is it? Uh, referee on which match? Um, um, Drutzia against someone else. I'm not sure. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, Drusina versus, um, is it Wolfpack they're playing this week? Uh, yeah, I think it is. That's, that's really, yeah. That could be a really hype match as well. Shame it, it overlaps with this one and we can't stream them both. But I do give uh, priority to the Division A matches here. Because uh, they're the most prestigious and high-end ones in the running for the t-shirts. And we want to see sure? Koa. <laughs> we want to see Koa uh, in flying form as well and see how they play. Let's just say ready, and we're about to get going. The other issues though is... Uh... Oh, it seems to be went live now. Yeah, I think we're going live now. Okay. And just hold off for the map intro. Oh yeah, they do their cast spam. <laughs> Go up place with six caps and two archers. Shh, one sec, one sec, just wait there, Matt. Oh, and we go to the game now. Uh, we do have Legend taking the six cav. Uh, sorry, Kurwa taking the six cav in this new strategy. Uh, actually, one of them's a saddle horse. That's Majesty. Legend's already pushing to the well, central actually, Yeah, the, the, the cat actually pushing in uh, early on here. Uh, all of them moving in oh. to try to catch the Legend's players on transit. They do manage to bring down Kuros and they've, they've isolated some players oh. here. Iranian loses his horse as well. And Kuro already making effective use of their 6 cap tactic. Legend do take cover in, in the ruins. Um, but they don't seem ready for this at all. Uh, Kuro just terrorizing all the players in the open right now. And none of them able to actually make it to the ruins. Oh, uh, only that's a few right, of them. That's, that's right, yeah. Raiden uh, playing as an archer, find space. Cuff need to be safe, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, they and they lost already four players, Takichi five players. cutting up Garim <laughs> uh, as well. Uh, it's just the two remaining players, Legend players in the ruin here. And well, this has been pretty effective, I think, for <laughs> no, so I don't. far. It is, yeah. But Cavs, it does. Cavs spam works, guys. But it isn't perfect to rush the ruins, especially you're running to the field and you will get uh, couched by the Cav, for example. And they lost so already. What is the best way of doing this with, with this then? What is. Uh, but I actually have also some problems to deal with it and to make a tactic, especially. Uh, I can't even say that. I'm sorry. You don't want to give away IG's secrets before tomorrow's yeah. game? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> but IG have a plan then, do they? They, 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 yeah. they obviously I don't know. I don't know. You're, 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 pre moment. you're preparing this for this though because you know it's coming yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, right. Corey is leading um, for us in the W and L. <laughs> I'm just the Kev, but well. But there's something coming to deal with this. There yeah. is a plan. But I mean, how do you how do you train against it? How do you practice against it? Um, uh, well. Do you I mean you can't just like have a training match and just force uh force teams to go six cab, can you? <laughs> if you can. Uh, know. well, if you played against Kova twice. Oh, they've been doing it as well. Yeah. <laughs> And um, are there any sort of any more trainings? Any, is there training tonight? Maybe tomorrow? Um, or a match against AE? Yeah, but will you, will you be having any more trainings before that match, or are you all trained up now? Um, Red, can't be now with scrim against Zeroes. Uh, uh, so covering it, sorry. Um, <laughs> yesterday we had against Zeroes and Kova. We did yesterday what? two scrims. But, to, but I mean, today or tomorrow? Like before the AE match, do you have any more trainings? Uh, no. Oh, Just today so and. Tomorrow we will play a bit on Archie Battlegrounds. It's public playing, you know. And so no last minute training before the match? No. Last, uh, no, last year in WNL we had always a scrim against um, RMGD before the official match with Star. 
Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. But, well, you just have to see how it goes then, and uh, hopefully that you're, that you're prepared for this new radical 6 cav yeah. uh, metagame that's come in. And it was just brutal. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's exciting to see the, to see the game changing like this. Especially yeah. Raiden, Raiden up, on his, up on a saddle horse here as well, playing Cav Archer. And uh, it's just bizarre. I mean, we haven't seen the game play like this ever, really. I mean, we've seen Cav Spam tried, but not really work. The thing is, um, they also have some um, horse archers. For example, K2, he's playing as a horse archer. So is Raiden as well. Yeah. And this could be very uh, interesting, but I'm not sure about the accuracy. I mean, the, the thing that is l missing for Legend right now is spears. They don't really have any spears. Yeah. <laughs> and that's like the biggest problem. Yeah, immediately, um, Althaurus goes down. K2 does go down to an uh, arena in there, and Legend not fighting back, but they just look so vulnerable in this open field. As Tyke takes down Kulis as well. Uh, it's really yeah. awful right now. Tyke with a double kill, and they're you're just getting caught up in this open field. Legend, they don't seem to have very really much of a plan right now. They don't know how to deal with it. I think one a start for them would be more war spears though to be honest. Don't you mind raising the flag as well? And, yeah, this is another problem for Legend because that flag is just going to go up before Legend can even get there. Yeah. And uh, crew is going to win around like that. So thought spears there nothing. Mean, yeah. What do what do Legend do here? Well, right. up goes the flag. That's going to be the end for this round. But they might be able to keep some players alive. alive. Trevor will yep. pick up a couple of players in the end there as well. You can't even call out the kills here. They all happened so fast. Uh, with Kuro just absolutely cutting Legend to pieces. And difficult. Um, they actually don't have spears that much as they should. Oh, the music's still on. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to fix that now. Production has been a little bit dodgy tonight as I'm getting used to the new setup. <laughs> it's my bad. Now shit happens. Yeah. Thanks for your support. And down we go. I think the music is kind of still pretty cool anyway. It's like kind yeah, of like. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> but there we go, proper game sounds. As they should be. Uh, Legends still. I don't find a way to deal with this. They've got. Um, two arches. Um, They've actually got four cover of their, of their own now. Uh, which might be an improvement, but. It's not about working out. Kudos brings down Raven. You can tell me the music, the music is still playing, so. <laughs> I think the music has stopped now. I should I should have fixed it. I just fixed it. Uh, first kill does go to Legend, and then now a player up. Perhaps they can take this round. Uh, Kuro seem a little bit reckless here. They've got some of their cap moving forward, moving into kind of dangerous positions. Triple calls uh, Raven a, a noob for dying to Kulis there. And yeah, the Legend cap they're patrolling, trying to find space. All of them are taking jabs though already. That's going to spawn 30 seconds and Legend at least to stabilize a little bit here. Triple now with a heavy horse as oh, well. Oh, Atreus got hit. Sorry? Atreus got hit, laying the tower on left. Yeah, these horse actually are so OP. Yeah, they're pretty difficult to deal with. There's a reason we don't play Kurgis in competitive warband. <laughs> They ain't, they ain't much fun. Uh, flag pops up in the middle of the ruins. And, well, Legend, they don't really want to move towards it. I uh, actually have some Troll Cow coming in around the sides. Perhaps, perhaps uh, Legend can pick these off as they get away from the pack. Uh, so, Tomasu is just kiting now. Trying to bait the archer fire. Uh, not, not raising the flag yet, Kora. And so, a little bit of space for Legend to wait here and try and think about what their plan of action is going to be. They are near to the flag. Um, they're still pretty safe. I think it's the cab of Kurwa here that are going to need to, uh, allegedly they're going to need to bring down the cab yeah. of Kurwa. Oh. So Tomas gets the early kill off on Oh, that's good. Ask good. Yeah, Raiden goes down to, to Oscar Dop. But it's just when, when Legend moves out to the open, they're just so vulnerable to all these horses. And uh, yeah, here, in come the kills for Kurwa. And the faster than I can call them, Mike getting the last one there against Garen. And uh, Legend just said, I'm hopeless. It's three against five now. So I should be. I mean, I'm something. Some kind of fight left. Arena tries a horse to get back on as well. Oh. But it's so difficult. Uh, I get fighting against so many cab, and now Sochi is raising the flag. Uh, with little time left. Oscar Oscar Dap. Oscar Dap loses his horse. 
Lex that looks very uh, lost against the Cavs spam. Yeah, they seem to have a, just such a hard time dealing with in it. My, in my opinion, they should change their classes. She Something like eight Cavs, eight archers. I don't know. Well, this is the, this, yeah, moving into the last round of the uh, set now, and they've got to do something completely different, I think. I think Legend just seem. Oh, yeah, Cavs. Yeah. As I thought. <laughs> they've taken uh, seven Cavs now, and one Archer. I think that he just had to do it. It's, it's just bizarre. Um, it's crazy to see the game being played like this yeah. in, in the top level in competitive play. But they still got an archer, so. <laughs> well, it's still it's impossible to, to sort of uh, spectate because you have no idea where any of that is going to happen at any time. Yeah. You have no idea what to follow. Uh, Legend spreading out. We actually have um, Bjorn has kind of rushed in. And these players are not used to playing Cav. Bear that in mind, uh, playing Cav in this game is not the same as playing any other classes. And if you're not used to playing it at a high level, you're going to have a hard time. Whereas Kuro have been practicing this, you'll remember. So, all their players, even if they're not normally used to playing Cav, uh, they've been playing a lot in the past week and <laughs> they're going to be ready. Yeah, uh, did. Whereas Legend is just doing this on a whim. And also, the gold is an issue too. Uh, Legend Bjorn. Nice job on by Arena. I'm pretty unsure of exactly what to do here. One cap's gotten smarted. They're all just sitting back in their spawn as well. Hero petrified. Oh, Raven is his horse. And, uh, oh, Kuro though picks up Austin. That's a bridge. I don't know where, uh, turn off for uh, K2. And so takes down Asgard. They both rushed in to take down Raven as he lost his horse. He's now found one. Um, from the deceased Asgard. That's just a brilliant shot from K2 there, that, um, the headshot. I thought I was stopping down to Kiji, but Arena loses his horse and immediately goes down there. Just to the overwhelming cab horse, just trampling him down. Mario goes down to the Majesty as well. Pulis gets all oh, <laughs> brutally cut up and slides through that fence with a beautiful ragdoll there. Oh, uh, he got one. Yeah, he's scam yeah, there. He got, he's got, got one kill, only, only six. Oh, oh, oh. Good. Yeah, team kill there. So, well, a chance for Garen perhaps. He still has K2 to deal with as well. Oh, unlikely one here. And the remember chance. Nords are faster, they do have the fastest horses because of the best athletic skill. <laughs> Garen's looking around. He's trying to do whatever he can. He's, he's throwing, uh, I think, hopeful javelins. He loses his horse now. But that's going to be, that's gonna be curtains. Yeah, tight gets the bump slash. And, uh, yeah. Well, so much, for, ga so much for game balance. Um, that just wasn't that, prepared at all. You see that Cam is an OP <laughs> class. Yeah. Uh, yeah, bit of a hard time. Tweet's coming in as well. I think some people were expecting this. Um, some people were surprised. Uh, what do you think? Uh, what do you think of that? On Sunny Bush. I mean, what well, do you think of that? What do you think of the of the Cav? Uh, uh, well, it's a <laughs> it's another thing, and they can try it out. Why not? Um, it's working. Well, it's working, yeah, and. It seems to be effective, and many clans doesn't know how to handle with that. Um, Twitch coming in as well. Circus uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> saying, "Will Kai and Toby win for Legend?" I think not. Raid and Wedge are all the French players. Uh, Wolfpack Warband saying, "Didn't realize it was an NA stream tonight." <laughs> uh, Larue tweeting in as well, saying, "Meta changes." Hashtag Azan the genius. Hashtag Warband. Hashtag Esports. Wow, such tactics, my strategy. Uh, and <laughs> we have Circle again tweeting and saying, Kuro playing A's new tactics, what will they do versus IG now? Ready KB has time to spectate. Yeah, I have. And I will hit you this time. But <laughs> 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 you will see tomorrow. Well, I guess the cat's out of the bag. Um, IG now know what A are going to do. So the question is, are they going to deal with it and how will they deal with it? Yeah. It's everything in secret. Yeah, I also prepared, so... <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Give me an exciting one tomorrow. Tune in with 19 BST on MBTV, of course, as usual. And going to the second set here, what are, what are Legend going to do, do you think? I mean, are they going to do something really diff different here to deal with this? Right. Are they, what are you expecting to see out of it? I'm actually not sure, uh, but... Maybe they will do the same again because Take the they will cap. see. Yeah, because they will see it was very effective, and maybe they will try to do this. But 
I don't. I don't really think so. Yeah, we well, we can't really know until we see it. Uh, still alive, just a little restart of the teams. Get that drop sorted. <laughs> Very interesting stuff, though, and uh, it's, uh, strange, it's strange when a meta shift like this takes place, and it's only affecting uh, one half of the games. Like it's only it's only affecting like well, not one half of the games, but like one half of the game. It's affecting like the open map. Presumably not the closed map. Seems to be that Kova doesn't play with any Atras. Uh, it's not live yet, so I think they could just be oh, doing, yeah. they could just yeah. be psyching out their moments <laughs> or doing all sorts. Who knows? But yeah, it's, I just think it's interesting to see that like like half of the game has completely changed and the other half is still the same. So it's really gonna uh, I don't know shake things up in the scene if we're seeing more of this. And uh, I wonder as well how much is gonna trickle down to the lower divisions and how much we're gonna see Division B and C teams adopting this. Uh, it's exciting times. Is it going to be cool for a patch, or would it be worked out? I mean, do you eh? think there's do you think there's something which can be worked out and and countered properly eventually? Um, I was sleeping. Sorry. <laughs> do you think it's something which can be countered and, and worked out eventually? Uh, right, or do you yeah. think this is just the the new way to play? I don't believe. It. Well, it's actually very interesting to see if they will do if we will do this in the future, but. I believe some clans will try to do the same, and there will be a hype, I believe, and after that, maybe everyone will try to do this, especially the Division A and B clans. I think Division C is going to pick up as well. A lot of them do watch the streams, and, and uh, they know they follow the meta. Uh, what I think we could be seeing is, um, I think it's going to get worked out. I don't think this is, I mean, it's actually, we can see the Kuru is doing something a little bit different here. They've got four Cav and four Imp instead of uh, six Cav here. Uh, changing up for the Nordic team. Imagine reverting to a pretty more, a more of a normal setup as well. They've got three archers here still. I think that, I think this this can be worked out. Yeah. Um. But it's something that perhaps even if it is worked out, it's still going to be affected once in a while. We might see more of things like teams switching to it and then going away from it and like changing from round to round to try and psych out their opponent. Uh. And like you know do a bit of um you know switch up their tactics and catch them off guard. I think that's something that we might be seeing more of. And there's more radical setups you can go to. Hey, we had it a bit in the past with like the kind of all cav spam, but it was never really too effective. I mean, it would work maybe one in one in four or five times if the team really wasn't ready for it and it, they played it well. Uh, what do you think of the four inf and four cav anyway? Well, I believe they should maybe have one or two archers as well, but well. It's very hard to say. Maybe they will have a special kind of tactic for it, and I mean, <laughs> I think I think they I think they're just gonna put those four infantry right on the flag, sit them on there, and then have Cav just running around them like crazy. Yeah. Uh, only two Cav here for the legend. Is that gonna be a problem it's, for them? Do you think? I believe they should have three Cavs because yeah, Vegas exactly. is a really it's a really strong Cav uh, Cav faction and. Take two cast on a strong care faction on an open map. It's it's really too low, and so like so, I think they should take three or maybe four cast. We actually have the infantry charging forwards towards the middle here. Uh, not going to flag actually going towards urgent players. Uh, Gideos gap comes in. Uh, first he goes to Tyke though, brings down Asgard with the couch lance, and Kuru just piling in, catching any legend players out in the open. Still doing just mass cavalry uh, predation here. Uh, charming in there. I think my team is like Yeah, cool. I think he's got a ball snake, perhaps. I let you actually put some kills back. Mario and Kuhn is making up. 6 plus 6 could be interesting. Yeah, 6 plus 5. Let you doing pretty well. Uh, 6 plus 6 still. Although, it's just my job bring down um, Bjorn. Griffin takes down Kulis and yeah, Kuro getting a little bit ahead now. Dikiji and Paraspec as well getting kills and well, yeah. Kuro now starts to run away with it. Uh, last player of Legend is Mario up in the back ruins. And he's getting mobbed. <laughs> oh, I got my one. Yeah, I did get killed. That killer mace. Mace is brutal, I tell you. Mace uh, rookie. It's a sick weapon. He gets so much when I smack in the face, but not enough to take him down. Yeah. And uh, we see Kuro take the round with five players remaining. So pretty good. We have Legends kind of like complaining about. Uh, we're talking in chat, but then they're talking in chat themselves as well. Yeah. 
it seems to be that I'm really a bit mad about that. Yeah, <laughs> Especially about the Casper's tactic. They were unprepared at all. <laughs> well, where their success has been has it been the archers. I think if they can just like, I don't know, find space, um, maybe get them in the ruins or something, they could perhaps do some stuff there. Mm. As it stands, they're just they're they're looking pretty hopeless against it though. <laughs> But I really expected this kind of result. Yeah, even if they, even if the, they hadn't done this tactic, I sort of think the crew uh, probably would have gone pretty far ahead. But it's yeah. nice to see them showing off that they're up to date with the meta and <laughs> radical uh, four cav, six cav tactics. I mean, four cav four for something we've seen before. We saw that in Reverend Village. Uh, generally combined with the push, made famous in the RNG versus RG match. When numbers you could just start doing it, <laughs> running towards uh, A. Sorry, RNG A. Maybe time mentioned yeah once again, just kind of camping the ruins. Not really sure exactly what to do. Maybe hoping for a middle flag spawn, which is going to be a bit more closed. I think that's the best thing that they can hope for right now. And uh, so much is the matter with the plan. So when um, when when was this sort of made aware to you that uh, A and Legend and uh, sorry A and Crew would make doing these tactics? Was it sort of something you, you knew about uh, at the start of the week, or is it uh, past couple of days? Um, well, what exactly? Sorry. What exactly? I mean, did you find out that this was going on with this Cavs plan? Um. I wasn't sure. I played on the first match and someone on IG told, hey, they will do something new, they will make a capture or something like that. I wasn't sure, but after the first game, you realize that it isn't at all. It is really a <laughs> tactic. <laughs> well, it's rumors and hearsay, but. Uh, yeah. Cora is very now we're for seeing it. Oh, that's a reality, yeah. yeah. Also, Javelin as well for Cora. And actually, once again, pushing forward um, towards Legend players. Uh, Legend with a bit of a crossfire here. Arena on uh, Thara, sorry, sitting in the middle ruins. And that's that's go to the, to, yeah, Legend Bjorn. The Legend seems pretty caught up in this uh, by this middle bit of ruins here. They're kind of vulnerable. They are getting advantage of those. Seven players against well, six, six, six now. Six. It could be possible for Legend. It's but it's just getting attacked more sides by these cabs. Uh, more javelin kills coming in here. Absolutely messing up the Legend players right now. Raven breaks down Arena. Uh, Garam does get tight down, but it's just not enough. Uh, two Legend players against. The remaining five for Kurwa. And even when they get close, they're just losing too much. Yeah. Soto taking down Altharis for uh, a score of 5 0 right now. Looking pretty tough for Soto. Nice jazz by the guy. Oh, beautiful jab from <laughs> Raven. He got so many jazz in the sauce. <laughs> yeah. And poor Garen. We list him as a key player and he's doing his best, but I don't think he's going to handle this. His mounts from his horse, trying towards a. Uh, Trevor on here. But Trevor on Facebook, was that with a melee jab that he killed him? <laughs> I think he might kill him with a melee jab, I'm not really sure. I would I really would like to see that legend could maybe run maybe will run one or two rounds on this map. Also on Tiny Bush, I would like to see them someone yeah. running. Well they they're gonna need to. Uh because otherwise I mean, if they go down 8-0 eight, eight on this map, all they can do is a draw from that point. That's going to be really rough for them. Imagine Mario saying, I mean, le the problem for Legend is they're not changing up enough. I, yeah. Uh, they, they they're, they're, they're not winning rounds and they're not reacting or doing anything differently. I mean, they yeah. Really, really need to change their tactics, in my opinion. Especially, yeah, they weren't prepared for the Cavs at all and they really need to changed their tactics and they didn't. It could be very hard for them. <laughs> Triple game, have a little hashtag. Go ahead, go ahead, sorry. Especially, I'm a bit wondering, where is Paolo? He is not playing. Yeah, that's a good point as well. I mean, he might be playing uh, on a fake name or perhaps not. I, yeah, but you could be right. It could be a, a lack of attention from Paolo there. And he is their, their leader. I thought I was get the first kill. Once again, Legend with the first kill here. And once again, it's a headshot. Bring down Asgard. Is Raven relaxed by the way? Do we do we have information on that? Um, Raven is Raven as far as I know. 
Oh, okay. Why is Relax <laughs> still on her? Perhaps not playing well, woman. I don't believe Relax is playing. Thing. Also, I'm out of one hour. Where is Paris? Who is Paris back? I didn't know him as, as well. I'm not, I'm not sure either, yeah. It's, well, it's a co player of some description. <laughs> <laughs> I have to check the roster. Legend, uh, 8 players to 7. They have the advantage here. All the players on full health as well. I Who really are we doing to take this round here? I really hope that Legend will win this round. Flag spawns in, uh, in this middle position. I think this is, this is a good flag spawn for Legend. This is kind of what they want. Uh, they don't have much of a crossfire setup though. Mario's going to move down from the the back ruin to the middle ruin, and well, the, the advantage for Legend here is that they can sit, they can put their arch in this ruin, and they're kind of unchallenged. I mean, they can't get shot at. They can obviously they're vulnerable to jabs, but uh, the firepower here for it is going to be a lot stronger for Legend right now. Oh, that's which, which, which arching into the ruin, taking the flag as well, throwing their jabs at the archers. We have Garam and uh, Raven Clash. Nice. We almost, we almost just pick them up and Legend with a two pair advantage right now. They can have to deal with the flag at some point because Sochi is still racing that. Uh, and Sikishi brings down Oski Dap as well on his horse. I mean, at some point, Legend, they've got to get out of these ruins and go towards the flag. I think that's this is the big challenge for them. Um, they cannot deal with the flag, but. Uh, out. Dying to those cap. Yep, they really as need cap. Majesty, they're doing pretty well. Uh, Nah. Charging into these ruins and they've got a, a, a 6 to 4 player advantage right now as Parasek does even up a little bit. But now they've got to move on and, and start fighting on this fight because Legend could just, um, well, Kuro could just sort of string this out and use this the flag advantage. Really around for Ledge. Yeah, but it's really close, so they, they've got to get into the Kuro place right now and start attacking them like, fast. Oh. Asgard drops out as well, it's now 3 on 5. Parasek has got to be, got to be put down. So much is setting off the flag as well. They could come in the last minute, Griffin moving on as well. What they have to really do right now is just is just kill these Kuro players because the flag is so much higher for Kuro right now. And Elthar has got to get in melee. They just got to, they got to just stand them. They're just they're taking too much time, Kuro. 15 seconds left. Uh, just a kill here. Uh, Parasite goes down. Griffin and there's Mercy both on oh. health. Griffin's got to survive for eight seconds. He's got almost no health left. Uh, they're trying to shield something. They've got to do everything. Oh. They do get it done eventually. And Legend do take their first round of the match. Finally beating out this heavy cav tactic play. Maybe they come back. <laughs> um, well, maybe not, but yeah, we are already seeing uh, a round win here, and perhaps the start of something. Legend is just playing with one calf. That's really to last calf, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, could be right. This did get the, the, the round kill though. Uh, I only got one calf now. The four arches. Okay, right, four archers make sense in my opinion. I think four archers doesn't make sense. I mean, especially if if they get another ruin flag spawn. Uh, fire rate is so important for them, and that's kind of kind of what's won the round, I think. We're sticking with their four cav, four imp tactic. But it's nice to see Legend get off the off the starting blocks and and put at least a round on the board. Some more you think we might see going to Sandy Bush as well, because we will carry on now, it's, it's uh, for sure. Uh, do you think that Legend have what it takes to compete with Kowa on a map like Sandy Bush? Uh, no, I don't believe <laughs> Kowa. <laughs> I don't want to insult Legend in any way, but no, no. Uh, the thing is, Kowa is a really good team. Yeah, they're they really good um, prepared and they have really experiences. And as I say, Peter is missing missing for legends and without really them is. without them they're not able to win this match in any way. And it's it was so it was so clear that Legend uh will lose this match in a very high risk I mean, a very high score. <laughs> yeah, I <clears throat> unfortunately I have to agree with you there. Uh we do have Kuro playing pretty defensive this time. Wing out for the flag spawn. No player on either team has taken any hit, hit so far. We might have an arrow in Raven's horse there, but I'm not sure. Oh no, it's just a spear. Flag spawn wants to get in the middle, and um, Legend going to be happy with this. They spread up players to the this, side ruin as well. This could be really a good flag point for the Legend. It's pretty good. Kuro wants to get moving forward, but I, I feel like Kuro, when they're, when they're assaulting this ruin, they're, 
they're just trickling forward. They're not really moving in numbers. And uh, it's not working out that well for them. Trevor picks off their Asgard, uh, which is a pretty nice kill. As Asgard moves a little bit out of position. And it's vulnerable there for a little bit. Trevor nice play. Uh, getting that predatory kill. Parasite raising the flag now as well for Kuro. Putting the pressure on the legend. They have to move out of their ruin at some point. They're shuffling forward now as well, but lovely javelin there from Griffin. He's just really making it hard for the legend players to find space to shoot. Even without any archers, uh, the range of the, the javelins is causing a problem. Bjorn charges in, uh, looking up to his name of Berserker, doing some pretty nice work in the ruin, causing Kuro to be a bit stressed out and actually giving Altharis a bit of space to shoot. The problem though is that the flag just going up for Kuro and legend got to do some Where's fast. Legend Cup? What is Legend Cup doing? Yeah, it's not <laughs> happening for them. They're losing losing players and losing time here. The flag's going to go up. 3, 2, 1, and let's go for Kuro. And I think they were going to win it either way. This player's running pretty low here for Legend. And we go into the, well, the second break. Legend with the lead. 7-1. to one. And I think that's the most one-sided score we've had going into uh, the second map so far. In, in any of our streams in this uh, season. Uh, do you think that it's... Um, all the tactic, or do you, or I mean, or do you think that uh, Kuro were just like way better? I mean, do you think that? Um, well, it's I believe Kuro is also a good clan with good players, and they're very coordinated. I believe. And but do you think do you think the score would be this one-sided if it wasn't for the tactic, though? The new tactic? No, it wasn't. It wasn't just for the tactic. Ju tactic was a great part, and but they also the clan itself. <laughs> okay. So very well played. Moving into the uh, break between the maps. And uh, interesting, just interesting to, interesting to see that uh, the measure of the game, a four-year-old game, shifting so violently. Mm. And uh, it's going to be really and interesting to see um, how teams the top flight react to this and how they uh, adapt. Whether it's something which is going to last, it's going to be part of Warband forever, or is it just a, a fad which is working against the current meta? Has it just found a bit of a convenient spot? Dramatic changes though. Many <laughs> times. Um, Sandy Bush, Vegas versus Sandy. What do you think of this matchup? Well, I don't believe uh, Legend will, uh, will win. Many rounds now, so but I mean, I give I mean it it's, it's just in terms of the, the map and the factions, Vegas Sarenets on this map. You, who would I you would say, well, Vegas. Vegas you, be, you prefer Vegas? Yeah, Simitars, I prefer right? Vegas. Well, you can never get Simitars. The thing, first thing is, um, are they Scimitars right? But the second thing, it's a really bad map for Cavs. <laughs> I know it's by myself, but I play some scrims <laughs> against on Sandy Bush. <laughs> I really hate this map as it's so it's so annoying to fight in the alley. <laughs> it's a very tight space, yeah. And yeah. sort of one spin and can rear you up. Uh, but it is playable as Cat. There's some flat areas, there's not too many like I mean it's not like North Town where you have all those like catwalks and things like that. Full of archers. But I think there are worse maps for Cav, but yeah. Yeah. Point taken, it's not. Uh, ideal for the horsemen. The thing is, the Sultanate horses are very, uh, are very dead soon because if they will get one or two arrows in the horse, the, the horses die. <laughs> They're like paper, so yeah. And in the LA, the archers are shooting at the calves for sure, and it's, perhaps, it's very hard to ride. In the LA. Yeah, it's and it's difficult. It's super, yeah. <laughs> The original version of this uh, this map was even worse for Cav, I gotta say. It was only yeah. after I got advice from uh, from Marcus and Nabuzuki that I was able to um, sort of improve the situation a little bit. But yeah, so you don't you don't really see teams taking more than two Cav. Um, typically one. I mean, does anyone think that that you can pull this back? Is there any way? What I mean, who knows? Uh I don't think, you know. It seems unlikely, right? They're going to need to get 
Give me a speed. Need to be a miracle. We're gonna need Paolo, I think. That's the base of the big <laughs> Pew pew and everyone start and you died and then that's for sure. No, I really don't think that Paolo is the reason for it. Maybe he is. I don't know if he is the leader of the squares and matches. I think he is. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he is. The charismatic leader is Paolo. Yeah, he is really a leader person. <laughs> and are we going live right now? I think so. I think we might be, so, uh, I'm just gonna, I, sorry, I didn't tell you very, last time very well, um, I run a map intro, so just wait for my word, and then, uh, we'll go, we'll go into the game itself. Yeah. And there you have it, wonderful, beautiful map intro by the talented E-Man there. And uh, we already have a, a lot of action going on right now. Both teams are on full health, but a fight is breaking out on the bottom oh, right here. As both teams are getting into it. Uh, both teams are taking two cans there, interesting as well. Raven is the first casualty here for True Work. So they should do pretty well with this many fight. Santa is proving that axes are pretty valuable. Uh, when you're playing in a close match map like this, Legend taking a huge advantage right now. Uh, six players against uh, four, as he just pull one kill back against Bjorn there. But Asgard brings out Parasek and Raiden. Really nice play. Really Legend. outnumbered right now. Yeah, Legend looking solid. Garen off his horse, but um, engaging Raiden in melee right now. Raiden uh, with the scimitar. Let's go down to Garen's. Uh, it was a very nice one by yeah. Legend. They really did a good work. And they're sort of from the harder side as well. I feel like uh, assaulting from that spawn side is a little bit more difficult. Um, but there you go. Sounded axes pretty good. Yeah, they are. Oh, it's all skimitas from the archers. Yeah, lots of semi dropping. No elite scimitars though. That OP weapon. No? Doesn't look like it, no. Or just uh, cab drop scimitars. Or even seems to be very or even playing a dismount cab actually. So only the one cab for Kuro. They should move straight into the low rally as well. They just charge right into the low rally. First, we go to Legend again as uh, K2 gets, goes down to a couch launch with They fall back and forth there. So, of course, the Garen Bush uh, kills the teams. Legend there launches Mario once again, brings out Social Mercy. And Legend is looking strong right now. Six players, or seven players against five here. Absolute mayhem. It's really unexpected that they will get the strong of Sandy Bush. Yeah. I they never just, thought they stronger than, than Kuro in the fights right now. Kuro just doesn't seem able to deal with these uh, charges, and they're not running away. Very well, they're going into it. Brilliant jumping javelin shot from Asgard there. Poetic stuff for it to bring down Majesty. Tyke, uh, one of the few remaining players here. Crew work goes down with a pretty failed kick there. And gets slashed in the back by Asgard. Um, Paraspect. Really nice work, in my goes opinion. <laughs> and uh, Legend fighting here. We'll we be seeing the start of the greatest comeback of all time in a Warband match. You no, I believe Legend has now really good armor, so it's more easier for them. Well, they don't have two tanks up actually. We, we don't see any mail coming out for Legend just yet. But, uh, well, they have they do decent armor and nice helmets, a lot of them. Pretty good. Cool, we're not going to fall into the same trap, I don't think. They don't want to um, fight from that same side. Cool, we're actually going to run right across uh, the center. And are they going to move in through the back of Legend? I think so. No, they're just gonna hold the center, I think, and perhaps try and pin Legend down. Legend charging out of the. Ah, they don't want to spawn, yeah. Legend just want to charge into their opponents right now. They don't want to. They don't want to wait for a flag. But they think better of moving out into the open there. Thoid Bold looking a bit vulnerable there. Does escape into the graveyard and. Uh, oh! He can't get caught up here. Now. Go, I, think, uh, I think he's escaped. They tried to sandwich him in, but he is gonna make it out. Majesty. I'm gonna try and catch him off, but Thoid Bold just does escape into his life. And that's pretty important. I think if he'd gone down, that would have been. Uh, a bit of a bad omen for Legend there. And we're taking these two cav as well. I think he's working out pretty well for Legend so far. Garam actually picking up a 4 0 score. So, uh, yeah. not the worst cav map, Renning. Perhaps you should no. just practice a bit more. <laughs> Red. 
I I personally really hate this man. <laughs> it's cavalry. It's... You like big open fields. Yeah. Like what you I really like all that, so. But Britain is really a spawn which is really for me personally impossible to play. <laughs> oh two and bar. Yeah. I'll say that uh standards have the best cav. Well, they have really good calf, that's the thing, but um, on on this map, for example, there are so many there are so many possibilities for the archers to shoot the calf, and after maybe two <laughs> of the uh, arrows, your horse is dead, and that's really annoying. <laughs> Anytime we have cool work, sitting up on the graveyard, and uh, we're holding out, looks like. I shouldn't come pushing in. Um, as the flag spawns in the middle, actually, yeah, no, they're going to back off and perhaps try and approach from the raisable ladder. Only approaching from one direction though, right now, Legend. They, I think they need to, they need to split up a little bit. They haven't decided they are going to go through the spawn this time and perhaps try and push Kura out the graveyard. But the problem is, Kura raising that flag already. And well, Legend, have, they the cap is very aggressive, in my opinion. Yeah, they're moving in unsupported right now. Oh, and he gets reared up just fortunately behind that tree, so K2 can't shoot him in the head. Crazy jamming there comes out from the cab as well, trying to K2 hit K2. Down. Yeah, knock him off his perch. That's pretty important, I think. But they got to, they got to get that flag. I think that's the main concern for them right now. One Jumping of down. K2 finds space to get the shot off on Mario, and I think it's pretty good. K2 has got down to do Eldritch. He's managed to find a way to get behind him. That's a pretty important kill there. Bjorn gets one too. Really nice. Bro. So close. Five versus five right now, but the swing of the legend as Asgard picks off tight. Legend moving forward. The flag is higher. Kura. In fact, Raven's got it almost in the top. Kura desperately running over to, to, to get off. Of course, brings down Blood Bowl and Tomosu, the leader. He was beating from the front right now. Uh, they charge into the flag, trying to bring down Raven on, on this point. The bamboo spear is out for Arenon. <laughs> A brilliant bad boost from Marini and he takes down <laughs> Raven. Harris back in search of mercy, fighting out for Kua. They've got the higher flag before he's stay alive. Garen moving in right now on the horse. Can't find any momentum, loses oh. his horse and could go down, but Buzz managed to just pick himself up. Kua's still. Kua's first one. Oh, but oh. Kua raised the flag in the meantime somehow. He <laughs> slips off the flag. And they Harris back raises up flag. just to the top and it was so close. But Legend, just give it away at the end there, just by slipping off of that flag. It's so crucial to pay attention to that. And we see the win coming from Oh Kuro, my right god. There. Incredible <laughs> round. Uh, almost out to climatic though, as we see. Kuro winning just the that flag. There was 30 seconds left. And uh, he had just as much of a chance to win as Paraspect did, but a beautiful double kill there in the end for Paraspect. Uh, and that's what really pushed um, Legend off the flag, because it mean, meant that the players that were on the flag were, they, were, well, they got taken down. And, well. What does that's the same again? Jump yeah, they're both sort of the, the alley, the other running side past alley. each other. Uh, Legend going through the alley, Kuro going across the top. And I just think, oh, it was so close for Legend there. Brilliant um, bamboo spear from Mourinho. <laughs> the guy does that all, all credit yeah. for that. I believe, I wasn't sure, but did he hit his cavalry guy? I don't I think so, no. But I, I mean, wasn't sure. I think it was Garen was up there, and he was doing okay, but he just he got a bit caught up in the melee fight. And, I think he was so desperate to help out and to support, uh, but what happened was really he just got, uh, he wasn't giving himself enough momentum or walking it up. Very First nice couple couch. Of the they bought again, yeah, beautiful couch, catching him off guard, and poor communication for Kurwa, hashtag do they talk. Legend and Bjorn charging in towards the Kurwa players in there, and Legend, though, they're not fucking around anymore, they just want to, oh, they just want to force this fight. Oh, dismounted. And uh, they actually... They scare Scarecrow off, uh, K2 off, he finds a bit of space to shoot now, gets a headshot immediately, um, bringing down Coolis there, Sikiji and Skull both get kills as well, and well, Dora's been pretty strong right now, Legend with teams. the team kills, uh, from Arini on Tyke, getting a double kill as well, and Sikiji is gonna finish this off, I think, or Bjorn, basically gets a good off with Tyke there, but it's only, uh, consolatory right now, as poor Bjorn, has so many Coolers attacking him, Raven That's is the one who gets the final kill, delivers the finishing blow and impressive stuff. I believe Kuwa won. Kuwa have now won 9-3, yeah. to three, game score we had in the last match. Uh, Legend, they looked, they looked like they could do it for a second there. I believed, almost. I really believed after the maybe the second round they could try to make the certain 8 spawn. I wasn't sure about the Vegas spawn, but... Uh, it was a nice comeback, um, comeback from them. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they at least showed that they are a team capable of, of uh, making some things happen, but it wasn't enough in the end. Yep.
Tetsu will see that. And we go into the post game. Uh, Kuro will take the the win, and we, we we expected that, but perhaps not in quite that fashion. An interesting game. But uh, Legend not able to have the impact they wanted. And well, there you have it. Uh, I'm gonna try and bug a Kuro player to come for an interview right now. All right. But I don't know if we're gonna be able to get them. Uh, so interesting. So I mean, how how far do you think Legend can? Uh, sorry, Cool can take this. Uh, uh, I mean, most people I think see IG, uh, Cool. And A is the top teams. I mean, where do you rank those three? <laughs> Who is really the strongest? So I would say Co-op is really, really, really amazing, especially in the last time. And they played very close the ETS final against AE. And well, I that believe that controversial final. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I believe it could be very close between Koa or AE, or maybe of AE, maybe as well IG. Because IG is strong, you know. <laughs> but really, to be honest, I believe Koba already can do this. So you don't think IG are uh, up with their, with their standard? Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> I guess we'll find out uh, tomorrow in a very reading match. Yeah. Then you will okay. see how we will beat AE for sure. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to give a shout out to Chris Alps as well, my buddy watching this game. <laughs> hope he's having a good time. Guys, you can tweet in too uh, with your questions. I think Sotomar is going to come for an interview. So do tweet in and stick around for that. People do love to hear from Sotomar, the famous guy. Oh, yeah. Guys, do post in. Uh, tweet, tweet me and let, let, you know, uh, let me know how you felt about the match. Also, post in the thread as well. The thread's been a little bit quiet lately and. Um, why do, you know, I, it's nice to have the thread being boosted up and people to show an interest. Let, let, let us know that they're what they think of the streams, uh, whether they like them, or what, you know, if they have suggestions as well. Mm -hmm. Thanks once again to uh, you, Remy, for coming and casting this with me. Uh, Been it's a pleasure always to have you a pleasure. <laughs> with your beautiful, you have such a cute voice. A well, little German I'm, accent. I'm currently 17. I'm not that young, but. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I know. I'm very sweet. <laughs> Definitely. Um, it should be along pretty soon. I think he just wants to get his uh, team set up for the last four rounds. Don't know what classes they're gonna play. We will be having him in here for a nice little chat. Okay, I think he's popped in there. I'm gonna move him in when I can. Get him set up for the team speak. You'll be thinking of your questions to tweet in. Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure, but you can try to move him now. He's a spectator, so he's uh, not. Oh, where is he? What channel is he in? He's on the DC Duel Clan channel. In Germany only. <laughs> Okay, uh, alright. Okay, let's bring him in. User was moved to your channel. Okay. Hello. 